automaton, like covered in <laughs> sitting and wrinkles and flats between. Um, I'm wearing Derek Lamb and I'm wearing uh, Manolo shoes and I don't remember who made my beautiful rings except for one of them I stole from my makeup artist. <laughs> Literally off her finger this morning. Um, yeah. So what can you tell us about the journey to Neverland? Um, <laughs> it is fraught with good intentions. <laughs> um, I can tell you that, I think I can tell you that our, des our intended destination is reached. And I can tell you that we're going to have to put our egos aside, uh, you know, of course, and come together if we're not going to kill each other before we get there. Last season, they showed you at a black spot on your heart. How much does that weigh on your soul in the new season? It, it's got it, it, it. I think this is Snow's. Uh, this this is the cross she bears the, throughout the beginning of the season. I mean, I've only seen a couple of scripts, and I know very little of what's to come after the first couple of episodes. But I do know that she is going to have to sort of like the characters are all going to have to come together. Snow herself is going to have to come together. She's going to have to reconcile these two. These two very disparate, like ends of herself, in order to be useful to anybody there, because she's too, she's torn in two at this point, um, and she, you know, she's gonna have to figure out what parts of Mary Margaret even she's going to hold on to, and what parts of Mary Margaret would actually drag her down. So as a follow-up to that, are you saying that she's trying to figure out a way to exist in the middle, or is she still completely 100% like, I gotta get the black spot out and be good? Well, I think last year it was, it, it was for her about living in the middle, and I think this year it's about stepping it up and creating a new character. I mean, I don't mean as an, yes as an actress, but I mean as Snow White, I think that she's realizing that play, living in the middle is, she thought it was going to be playing it safe, and instead it was disastrous. Um, so it's more that she needs to change. Can she trust the group that's with her going to Neverland, or will there be conflicts? And I think that that's. I think that trust is one of her like biggest downfalls. It's one of her biggest flaws. She gives. She gives everyone the benefit of the doubt all the time. I find it incredibly annoying. You know, it's like, well, gee, isn't it a shocker that the queen lied to her again? Or, you know, the only thing I do find interesting is that, in terms of that, is that she she's endlessly right to trust Rumpel, which I can't figure out as an actress, you know, what it is that they have coming that is why he... He does always do right by them somehow, and and Snow White is right to trust that he will. Um, but yeah, she gives everybody like 400,000 chances. <laughs> She's a bit of a doormat in that way. <laughs> what would you see as Snow's happy ending? Oh, for sure, uh, living with with Prince Charming and Emma and Henry and seven dwarves, or eight, <laughs> in the castle in the Enchanted Woods. Do you have a lot of action scenes this season? I do. I am covered with bruises, which you can't see through the makeup. Um, but I'm already beating the shreds. Beat the shreds? Is that a term <laughs> it is now? <laughs> do you have like, sword fights and things that you have to practice for at the top of the um, okay, I'm, I mean, I, I, I think I'm better with a bow and arrow. Do you, uh, know, do you have a general idea of where your character is going to head? I'm, li I'm literally, like, it's not me. I'd love to be a mysterious kind of person, but I'm not. I have no clue. None. Snow in the chain of course, like, knows her way around. Watching her take her daughter through there and be like, stop doing this stupid stuff. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. she understands the rules of that world. But she doesn't understand the rules of Neverland, so how's that going to work out for her? That, well, that's going to be part of the issue is we're going to have to figure out uh, who can help us here because the rules of every realm are completely different. And we know that. So we would never be so foolish as to try to um, use our tactics, our, you know, our enchanted Snow White, Prince Charming world tactics in another realm. Adam and Eddie said that their Neverland is going to be really a lot darker than anything we've probably encountered before. Yes. What? Snow White is such a light person. How is that going to impact her? 
Um, that's a good question. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I'm assuming that it will just keep, it will inspire her to keep addressing the great parts of herself. Um, and hopefully, because she can be a little bit of a yes man, hopefully it she won't sort of get dragged into that darkness but can really learn to hold her own again. Give her some more occasions to be kind of a badass? Yeah, yeah. I hope so. Are some of those bruises from interaction between Snow and the Queen? You know what? The bruises are quite genuinely like I didn't even realize they were happening, that they were, you know, that I was that I was hurting myself. Um, they are literally from the rocking of the ship and from I am clumsy as clumsy can be and I think I ran into and broke a lot of things so they're finally bringing in the Little Mermaid this season are you hoping you get to interact with that character on dry land yes I have no interest in going after our siren episode in the first season I have no interest in ever uh, diving into that tank again but it all, and also we shoot in Vancouver, BC, and it is always raining, so I'm wet enough. Um, uh, but I do hope to interact with her when she does appear on the right. And we know she gets her legs, so there you go. I mean, in the story. I don't mean in our story. I'm not making any claims <laughs> about what happens to Ariel in our story. I just mean in the story of the woman. Thank you, everybody.